Okay, this is the uh, problem solving part, the, the last part of the, this lecture, lecture number one on, on the nature of proof, you know, the major techniques in proving theorems in uh, pure mathematics, because pure mathematics is all about proof. All right, so here's, uh, yeah, you know, they're fairly easy. Uh, you shouldn't have too much pr trouble with them. Okay, prove that the product of two odd numbers, and uh, by number I mean integer, so prove that the product of two odd integers is itself odd. Okay, so m and n belong to the uh, integers, and m and n are odd. Prove that m n is odd. Okay. That the product of two odd integers is itself odd. So how do you do that? All right. Uh, well, you know that m m is odd. So it it takes the form two p plus one. Now p is an integer. Okay. Now n is also odd. So it can be something like it, it will take the form something like that. So um, if you see now p and q also belong to the integers. Right? So uh, if you see that, you know that m and n have to be odd, right? because this is even, plus 1 makes it odd. All right, well, you just multiply these two, so m n will just be this by this, so that's 2p plus 1 times 2q plus 1, so that's 4pq plus 2p plus 2q plus 1, okay? Now, these all have a factor of 2 in common, so take the 2 outside, so 2pq plus p plus q plus 1. Now, this here is even, right? That's even. Plus 1. So the whole thing, the whole thing must be odd. Okay? So mn is odd. So you, you've proved it. Okay. And we only have to go one way, because we're not asked. This is not an if and only if, or a, uh, a necessary and sufficient condition type proof. It's just a one way. You're only asked to, to, to prove it in one direction. Okay. So uh, that's done. All right. That was pretty easy. Now, this next one uh, this is question two in the exercises of the textbook. Uh, use proof by contradiction, in other words, RAA, reductio ad it's absurdum. Use proof by contradiction to show that it's not possible to find positive whole numbers, m and n, so let me rub this out, such that, such that m squared minus n squared equals 6. Okay? So use proof by contradiction. You cannot, cannot find... Uh, Positive integers, is that right? Yeah, positive integers, m and n, so that m squared minus n squared is equal to 6. Right? There, there, there's, there is no m and n that are integers, positive integers, that, that give you this. So, uh, now you're going to use proof by contradiction. So that means you will uh, uh, assume the opposite, right? So, uh, so that means that you that you assume that there there are m and n that this is true, and then get a contradiction. So let's let's try and do that. It's a bit harder this one. It's not, not as easy as this first one, which is fairly trivial. This one is a, takes a bit more thinking. Right? Now, of course, a lot of a lot of proof in. Uh, mathematics is just like a continuous IQ test, right? It's the nature of uh, the beast, nature of uh, pure math. All right, so by contradiction, right? So uh, let's, so Q, Q is, there is no, do you know, do you know that symbol? There is, there is. So there is no, there isn't. So there's no m n uh, belonging to z plus 
that's that's the uh, set. The plus means the set of positive integers. Let's say um, such that st such that m squared minus n squared is six. Right. That's that's the statement q. It's a definition. So q q is this that there is there are no integers m and n belong to the positive positive inches, such that n squared minus n squared is 6. All right, well, let's, let's assume not q. So that means uh, there is, or there are m and n belonging to the positive integers, such that st, such that m squared minus n squared equals 6. OK. Uh, so, how, how can we get a contradiction? Well, uh, let's assume, assume m is greater than n. Right? Uh, and m and n are positive, right? Positive integers. Okay, so have a look at this. m squared minus n squared. You can rewrite that as m plus n into m minus n equals 6. Right? Now, six, 6 you can write either as 6 times 1 or as 3 times 2. Okay? And these are integers m and n are integers, so m squared minus n squared is also an integer, right? So the right-hand side is 6, that's an integer. And remember the uh, famous theorem, um, the fundamental theorem of arithmetic? Every integer can be factorized uniquely as a product of the powers of primes. Factorized uniquely, okay? Uh, so... So this is equal to that. Uh, now this we have a simple. <laughs> well, put it this way. So that is either equal to that or that. Okay. So so if n plus n n minus n equals six by one, therefore n plus n is six and m minus n is 1, that's one possibility, or, or m plus n is 3, okay, and m minus n is 1, okay? Now, uh, so either that's true or this is true. Alright, so add these Add these two lines, so you get 2m, the n's cancel, and you get 7. So that means m is 7 over 2. Well, that's not an integer, right? So that's false. Now how about this one? So again, add, so you get 2m, the n's cancel, is 4. So m's 2, well, that's, that's okay. What about n? So if m is 2, confusing myself here a bit. <coughs> m is 2, so if m is 2, n is 1. So, from, so plug in the 2 here, so n is 1, okay, so 2 minus 1 is 1, so that's, that's, that's okay. 